Here in Germany, the forest remains a powerful icon of national identity. Even today, nearly a third of the country is still thick with pine, beech, fir, and oak trees. They are the setting for the 50 photographs that make up Michael Lange's collection of forest images. To create the series, Lange spent three years roaming through Germany's forests. He says he gets his best shots at twilight or on overcast days. The twilight offers a major advantage. During the daylight, when you see the sun in the forest, you can't help but say, this is so beautiful. With all the lovely play of light, you hardly know which way to look. But at twilight, it's very different. The forest goes silent and reveals a world completely different from the daytime one. During the day, Lange goes scouting for subjects and makes initial test shots. He wanders around until he sees an interesting scene one that opens a new perspective on the forest. Then he marks the spot so he can find it later. When the weather is bad enough, he returns to the spot. One finished image is put together from several shots. The result imitates what the eye actually sees without distortion. My basic premise is that we're all confronted with a vast quantity of images every day. And we live in a society that continually grabs us and stimulates us visually. I want my images to create a space filled with silence. My photograph should be peaceful and calming. When I was a child, the forest was the place where I knew nothing could happen to me. Michael Lange grew up near Heidelberg. Like many Germans, his childhood was shaped by the surrounding forest. We all grow up with the forest. We have our grandparents' stories, the stories of our childhoods. So we all have roots in the forest. Germanic sagas and legends also have their roots in the forest. But today's forests are more like managed woodlots for logging and recreational purposes. Very little primeval forest survives, even if some 75 types of tree are native to Germany. In the 1980s, there were widespread protests against forest pollution in Germany. Over the centuries, the forest has struck deep roots in German fairy tales, music and painting, and in the German cultural consciousness. Michael Lange tries to break free of all the cultural deadwood with his images. He meticulously assembles the images on a computer in his Hamburg studio. They're printed in a photo lab and can be up to one and a half by two meters in size. The final print is open to interpretation. The legends are there, but everyone sees his own legends. I don't want to dictate a specific perspective, and I believe I've achieved that. I don't want to tell the viewers they have to see it this way or that way. Instead, I try to create a space where everyone can see their own image of the forest. The result is a series of photographs in which the power and the mystery of the forest remain very much alive.